Emanuel is a provocative performer, writer, and puppeteer working in Corner Brook. Tara made her debut on the Newfoundland arts scene in the feature film Finding Mary March. She went on to graduate the National Theatre School and publish three books, Filling the Belly, Walking Through Shadows, and York Notes on Ethan Fromm. For over a decade with Learning Through the Arts, Tara's been teaching creative drama from kindergarten to grade six, using puppets and theatre techniques to connect to the curricula. And she's travelled to Sheshashi and Northwest River with the Labrador Creative Arts Festival to engage youth with impromptu performances. Tara's production of St. George and the Dragon toured over 50 schools across the island and up the Labrador coast. Her short film, The Tentacle's Claw, won Best Foreign Comedy Feature at the Atlanta Horror Film Festival. Tara's work with students has explored mythology, Newfoundland folklore, poetry and creative writing, storytelling, movement and theatre. Congratulations to Tara Manuel for her Arts and Education nomination. Fergus O'Byrne believes deeply in passing on traditional music to a new generation. A founding member of the Irish folk band Ryan's Fancy, Fergus recorded over a dozen albums and toured North America and Ireland for over a decade and was featured with that band in a CBC TV series. Fergus has continued to produce and record new music with Jim Payne, Minnie White, Shani Ganock, The Punters, Great Big C and Jim Fiddler. He's been nominated for multiple ECMAs and received the Dr. Helen Creighton Lifetime Achievement Award as part of Ryan's Fancy. Fergus has also received Music NL's Educator of the Year and the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Newfoundland and Labrador Folk Arts Society. Fergus's work with the Young Folk at the Hall initiative, now 15 years old, has given young people all over the province the opportunity to learn from each other and from a master. Through Young Folk, Art Smarts and the school touring program, Fergus has mentored countless budding talents in the province. Young Folk has been so successful, Fergus has expanded it to Cornerbrook, Stephenville, Marystown, Appleton and many other locations. There, proceeds from youth performances go to local organizations to create more arts-focused opportunities for young people. Congratulations to Fergus O'Byrne for his Arts in Education nomination. Visual artist Anita Singh is known for her painting, printmaking and sculpture. Anita has worked at St. Michael's Print Shop, Anna Templeton Center, the Murphy Center, Devon House and Craft Council and Eastern Edge Gallery. Despite the sophisticated nature of her imagery, she has expertly broken her techniques down into simple steps for the purposes of teaching. Anita's been involved in dozens of ArtSmart's funded projects, taking her to schools all over the Avalon. And through these projects, she's inspired thousands of young people. For one project, Anita engaged an entire school to draw self-portraits, which were translated to tiles that are now mounted in the school's main entrance. Anita Singh's own work has appeared in over 25 group and solo exhibitions from Bristol, England to Victoria, BC. Anita's pieces are found in collections belonging to McGill University, the University of Toronto, the Toronto Reference Library, the Provincial Art Bank of Newfoundland and Labrador, as well as private collections in Canada, the US and the UK. Congratulations to Anita Singh for her Arts in Education nomination.